Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you a really, really quick and easy free tutorial as to how to make a logo for your Etsy shop. So what I literally do is I go to the fabulous place known as Canva. Canva is something that I use for, I'm gonna be honest, everything. <laughs> everything when it comes to graphic design and what have you, I use Canva. So go to canva.com, that's C-A-N-V-A.com and I type in logo. Straight away, you have a lot of really, really cool minimalistic logo examples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a logo for, let's just say, I mean, let's just go for a um, eco-friendly beauty brand. Let's, let's just do that. So I've clicked on this one. It's very simple, it's very easy. Now, obviously you need to know who your target market is. You need to know what your brand colors, and what your branding is and like that. Um, if you download my 30 days to a kick butt Etsy shop, that is in the description box below. Um, I will walk you through this and it's free as well. So it's amazing. Um, so basically you can change the fonts, you can add elements, you can do lots and lots and lots of different things worth a little explore while you are here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to start to type in some keywords in the elements box here. Now a lot of, um, uh graphics that's the word uh, they are on the pro version so you will have to pay for them i've managed to come this far uh, you know being in business for six plus years um without going pro so it's it's definitely possible um so what i would do is start to kind of type in um different things when it comes to your items that you sell or the logo that you want to create so I can see this is definitely a lot better than that. And I can reduce it, I can flip it, I can do all of these different things. I can obviously change the uh, text. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and things like that. So it's really, really easy. Um, I won't go too far into it, into this video, because it is basically just a case of you just kind of, you know, looking at your branding, looking at your target market and what have you. Um, the two tabs I think you'll be using the most is probably photos and elements. Now you can upload your own logo or um, images and what have you, so that's definitely worth it. A few things to think about though, is that you need your logo to look good on dark backgrounds and light backgrounds so that's why i would always say do do a logo that's quite plain if you're not sure so i'm just going to do this one black um and also what what you kind of want to do is you want to make sure that you make white versions and black versions so white colored text and images and what have you which you can do up here change that to white i'll do that now just to show you and you also want a black colored version because depending on your packaging, um, you are, let me just turn up to black so you can see it. There we go. You are wanting a logo that can be, that can do it all basically. And the best thing to do with that is to keep it very, very simple. Um, and also the other good thing about that, you know, about having just like a simple little picture, image, graphic, whatever here, and like a really simple, easy logo, is that if you want to make it shorter for a Facebook um, image or something like that, or let's say that you make something and you just want a little bit of your logo in there, you could even just do something like this um, and change it to that. So you're not actually redesigning your entire logo you're just literally cropping it into that. And, you know, if I was to zoom in and you wanted something really, really simple, really, really easy, literally just this bit here for like a very, very small area that you have to put your logo, that is definitely possible with a really simple, easy logo and all possible in Canva as well. And when you're ready to download it, you just click download here. I'd recommend doing it in PNG and JPEG just to be on the safe side. And then basically you are done and you can start to upload your logo to your Etsy shop, to whatever you know places that you sell. You can also, if it's a really simple, easy logo, you can send it to um, wherever you get your leaflets printed, business cards printed, packaging printed, the whole, the world is your oyster when it comes to doing a really, really simple logo. Now you can also do something a little bit more complicated if you wanted to. Um, 
So if I go back um, and I type in logo again, you can do something a lot more complicated. And I'll do this just to kind of show you. So let's go on to that. That, that, is, a, that is definitely a more complicated logo. Um, but you can see that you can change all sorts. So I could do that white if I wanted to um, and change that to white as well. And then straight off the bat, I've just got this little gra graphic here. Um, again, let's say you are making, I don't know, um, a, board, a board game, <laughs> something like that. You can type in game. You could, you could have a dice instead of this guy here. You could put that up there, just for example. Let's go to text. And also it gives you text combinations and things here. Um, so let's just say we want that one, just for example. You can obviously delete section, um, something like that. Now, I've just literally made this in about two seconds. <laughs> um, but you can kind of see how easy this is. I mean, even if you don't want the red dice, you can change it to black and white instead of, there we go, instead of red. So you can kind of see how easy this is to create on Canva. I've literally just created two logos in the space of about five minutes. Um, so again, definitely, definitely, definitely know who your target market is, what your branding in is, and what branding will attract your target customer. But apart from that, have fun, have a, li a little play around. This may take you a week, it may take you two days, it may take you, you know, it takes you however long it takes you to get it right. And it is definitely something that I recommend playing around with and getting right straight off the bat. So guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not ready for other Etsy videos and tips and tricks for business and what have you. Um, and I shall see you in the next video, guys. Bye.